for people who still don't think that microaggressions are a problem. Oh, you're so well-spoken. Oh. Just imagine, instead of being a stupid comment, a microaggression is a mosquito bite. Ugh, it's a compliment. Hello and welcome back, all you beautiful 150,000 subscribers. Er, a couple thousand. But hey, I'm willing to keep working to get you all back here. So a couple of weeks ago, far-left media commentator and race agitator Wajat Ali asked people to tell him what the woke mind virus is. Something he asks constantly and then just ignores all the responses. But I took the bait and I responded with an example of people with this woke mind virus telling themselves they're anti-racists when in fact their actions are plainly racist. Well, today I have a much better example of the woke mind virus in action that you just have to see for yourself right after i tell you about this free coin offer from noble gold do you want to take control of your financial future but just don't know where to start noble gold investments understands investing in precious metals may sound confusing but the team at noble gold investments make it easy let's hear from actual noble gold investments customers the staff answered all my questions and helped me every step of the way no pressure sales tactics just honest guidance securing my future is less stressful thanks to noble gold's expertise so don't settle for financial uncertainty they'll suggest options and see if you can diversify into gold and silver right now noble gold investments is offering Offering a free five ounce silver America the Beautiful bullion coin for qualified accounts. Don't settle for financial uncertainty. Noble Gold Investments has an A plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and countless five star reviews. So why wait? Let's get started right now. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com now. That's noblegoldinvestments.com, the only gold company I trust. And remember, there is always risk in investment, and there are no guarantees of any kind. Welcome back. So we have the new Prague School District in Minnesota, whose superintendent is currently training their staff with some sort of critical race theory, Ibrahim X. Kendi BS type video that literally depicts white people as the most obnoxious creatures on earth, based on what you can only call broad generalizations and racial stereotypes. The video itself is just everything it claims to be against. It's just completely batshit crazy that this is being used to train teachers in schools. Mosquito and their itch are one of nature's most annoying features. But if you're only bitten every once in a while... No, where are you really from? Uh, Cleveland? Sure, it's annoying, but it's not that big a deal. The problem is that some people get bitten by mosquitoes a lot more than other people. I mean, a lot more. Have you ever had something happen that was so racist, you were just like... God damn, that was racist. That was racist. Look at that white bastard sitting over there smiling while all those amazing people of color are forced to be asked where they're from. Whether it's on a date. Oh, your English is so good. Excuse me? Going grocery shopping. You know, everything happens for a reason. I'm just buying apples. Commuting to work. So when are you going to have a baby? Watching TV. We have to keep the Redskins name. It's part of our culture and history. Or just walking down the street with your partner. <gasps> I couldn't even tell you were gay. <sighs> Mosquitoes seem to pop up everywhere. Do you know John? Give me shopping so advice. Fabulous. I love Cher too. And thus, the problem with white people. Yeah. What the hell is this? It's just a bunch of baseless accusations and racial stereotypes that white people just go around annoying everybody with their existence. And no, I'm sorry, I just don't believe that there's all these white people out there just chomping at the bit to touch black people's hair. Like it happened to one person one time, and now it's this folklore legend that's treated as the everyday life of white people. Okay, so now, trigger warning, this is where things take a dark turn. I'm getting bit by mosquitoes every goddamn day. Can I touch your hair? Multiple times a day. So pretty, can I, can touch I touch is annoying and makes you want to go ballistic on those mosquitoes, which seems like a huge overreaction to people who only get bit every once in a while. It's just a mosquito bite. Who cares? Just another angry black woman. What the? F she just burned a couple of white people to death for saying some things that she didn't like, as if she was completely and totally justified in doing so. And if you're white and you have a problem with that, well, maybe you need some of that flaming Werfer too. Hans gets the Flammenwerfer. I find the choice of burning them very interesting too, given the overall tenor of this school training video. Just remember, some people experience mosquito bites all the time. You're all so exotic, wow. And by mosquito bites, we mean microaggressions. What you just said 
is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. Gee, microaggressions you say? You mean like a school training video that portrays white people as subhuman, blood-sucking insects? Who can't exist without literally driving everyone who isn't white into murdering them? Oh, that was different. But oh, I'm sure that it's just somehow totally different when you do it. But yeah, think about it. The entire video portrays whites as some sort of major problem for everyone else. And the idea is seeded that murdering us for existing might be the solution to that problem. The superintendent, Andrew Volmuth, responded to questions from Alpha News saying, quote, New Prague area schools are dedicated to creating a culture where all students have an equal and inclusive opportunity to thrive academically, socially, and emotionally. Well, apparently, unless you're a white person, and then you're a mosquito that should be squashed. How do these people not see the contradiction? The answer is woke mind virus. His rhetoric does not at all match what's in that video and they are apparently unable to see it. The woke mind virus. If you all don't mind, send this on over to Waja Ali when you get a chance. That's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. See you on the next.